the kingdom of Victoria and David Beckham. A world where no price tag is too pricey. That man was literally wearing $100,000 on his chest. No luxury denied. I do like posh shops. And where everything they really, really want is theirs for the taking. From their mind-blowing homes. Karshenbergs live in Beckingham Palace, not to be confused with Buckingham Palace. And their trend-setting tresses. I'm running out of hairstyles, I think. <laughs> The world worships the Beckhams like gods. There are paintings of him that depicts him as Jesus. We will show you what happens when the planet's sexiest soccer player... Every man wants to be him, every woman wants to be with him. ...hooks up with Pop's poshest superstar. Hello, I'm Victoria Posh Spice. Prepare yourself for a peek inside a world of spectacular splendour. This is the fabulous life of Victoria and David Beckham. At the 2002 World Cup in Japan, English football captain David Beckham was treated like an idol. The man the Japanese call Beka Haimu is so revered, one female fan went to the Westin Awaji Hotel where he stayed and developed a very special relationship with Beckham's toilet. She somehow got into every room and licked every toilet seat because she wasn't sure which ones he might have used. Just to make sure that she got his toilet. Such is the insane life of David Beckham. his pop princess, Victoria. They've become the new Princess Diana and Prince Charles. You go anywhere and they are on every magazine, they're on every newspaper. Victoria and David are so huge, they're only ever known as Posh and Bex. Posh was a Spice Girl. Hello, I'm Victoria Posh Spice. And in the 1990s, Posh and her pop pals... Took the world by storm. She has managed her career amazingly. She got herself into the biggest girls group ever. I wanted to be a singer. I've always wanted to do this. And she also wanted what every other woman on earth wanted. Bex. David Beckham is Britain's number one sex symbol. Every man wants to be him, every woman wants to be with him. He's this immensely talented athlete and also has huge sex appeal. The world treats Beckham like a god because he is like one. In Thailand's Pariwaz temple, Buddhist monks don't pray for him, they pray to him. There's a gold-plated statue that depicts him as a Hindu god. There are paintings of him that depicts him as Jesus. In Iran, you have women in burqas pouring over his picture on newsstands. People around the world love him. You know, there's a lot of people that do look up to me. Together, Victoria and David lead a fabulous life. Posh and Bex are gorgeous and they're stylish. Posh literally has an army of makeup on, so she's always picture perfect. They have a team of the best people in the world, helping them to look amazing. And nothing is more amazing than David Beckham's hair. David Beckham will fly his hairstylist across the globe just to cut off a few split ends. He spent $12,000 on this hair. You can't think of David Beckham without thinking of his hair since he changes it every few months and he sets huge trends with it. Like the Samurai, the Alice Band, the Beach Babe, the Mohican and Cornrows. I'm running out of hairstyles, I think, but uh, no, this one's just to keep my hair up. When Bex changes his hair, people change their hair everywhere. We mean everywhere. The Japanese got so crazed over it that women started doing the Mohican downstairs. And his wife breaks the bank on her own locks. Hi, I'm Felony and I'm Victoria Beckham stylist. We closed the silence exclusively just for her. 
Victoria gets grade A hair extensions from Felony for an unlawful price. The cost of Victoria's hair extensions and styling, the value is probably around $8,000, and that's every 10 weeks. Add it all up, and Victoria's hair comes to an estimated 40 grand a year. Passion Vex don't know the meaning of the word no. They used to fly Concorde, just like it was a commuter train. When you're Passion Vex, there are no limits. For their son Brooklyn's fourth birthday party, they showed Monsters, Inc. They rented out a whole movie complex. They spent like $15,000 just for their little boy's birthday. And extravagant extravaganzas are the posh and Beck's norm. Like in 1999, when they spent big on their big day. The wedding. Let's talk about the wedding. Wedding was over the top. They had it at this castle that cost $8,000 a night to stay in. The Beckhams spent $800,000 on their wedding. And Posh spent 80 grand just on her dress. She looked amazing in it. And we built part of it in England and we built part of it in the United States. Famed designer Vera Wang custom made Victoria's wedding dress from ultra rare Clarici satin. She knew just how she wanted to look. And she spent a bundle just to fit into it. We had a custom made corset. The corsets alone cost twenty to thirty thousand dollars. I literally watched her waist go from small to um to non-existent. To everybody that we live in it up, we say. When these two travel, they literally have airport personnel guiding them through secret passageways to avoid paparazzi. They're always on a desperate hunt for privacy. Posh and Bex found their privacy in 2003 at the exclusive Shiva Som Resort in Bangkok. If you're going to take your last trip in life, you want to just go to the Shiva Som and die there because it is that spectacular. Starting at 2,200 a night, this $26 million resort overlooks the Gulf of Thailand, featuring the world's most exclusive relaxation techniques, including Tai Chi, Watsu, Reiki, and whatever this is. They have yoga training, but it's not like you would have here. Gandhi is giving you yoga training. But even a day of Nirvana is just another day in the life of Victoria and David. Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed of Dubai spent $1.6 billion to create a man-made island in the Arabian Gulf. In 2005, Victoria and David will own a luxury villa on the island, complete with their very own private beach. Dubbed the eighth wonder of the world, its official name is Palm Island. Why do they call it Palm Island? Because it looks like a palm tree from the sky. This is one of the most exclusive vacation areas in the whole world. It might be the eighth wonder of the world. For them, it's just another expenditure. From awesome wardrobes to the chicest of clothes, absolutely no one can spend it like Beckham. Nothing is out of reach for them, and if they want it, they're gonna have it. They have a $3.75 million villa in the south of France. It has something like 34 rooms. It's on 250 acres. It has a vineyard. When Victoria saw it, it was love at first sight, so they signed on the spot. And then there's their home base. Posh and Bex live in Beckingham Palace, not to be confused with Buckingham Palace. They have this enormous estate in England, which the tabloid press has dubbed Beckingham Palace. This 25-acre spread features 50,000 flowers, a recording studio worth half a million, and gold-plated toilets. They purchased it for $4 million and then spent another $5 million on it. They have a life-size model of Audrey Hepburn in their bathroom. They have a jungle-themed room, which is all leopard print. Even their son Brooklyn's room is spectacular. They built a $30,000 dome night sky in Brooklyn's room so that it looks like he's sleeping underneath the night sky every evening. I see stars, I'm seeing stars. Brooklyn Beckham is indulged as if he were going to be the next king of England. He's got a $13,000 treehouse, spiral staircase, furnished. I think they had a decorator come in. And when they decide to leave home, Posh and Bex hit the road in style. Posh and Bex have more cars than Avis, except they're not sharing. They have an Aston Martin. 
a Mercedes, a Bentley, custom made with the names of the entire family embroidered throughout the car. And that's not all. They also have a Jaguar, a Range Rover, and a custom Lincoln SUV totaling $370,000. Not to mention two fully armored BMWs totaling $625,000. Security is an issue for the Beckhams. They had a much publicized kidnap scare two years ago. Now, two of their cars are bulletproof. But wait, there's more. David also has a mini fleet of Ferraris. Ferrari is sexy. Each car is assembled by hand. The Ferrari Maranello is considered one of the fastest cars on earth. It does 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds and can reach speeds of over 200 miles an hour. It is a piece of art. Uh, each one is a unique design, each one is on tradition, and so each one is worth to be collected. Bex collected four at a cost of one million dollars. Just a fraction of their entire car collection estimated at over three million dollars. Hang on, I think David Beckham just bought another car. No one since Liz Taylor has loved their diamonds as much as the Beckhams. Posh and Bex lay out major bones on super stones. Bling, super bling. You need to be accompanied by a security guard with guns to be wearing this stuff. Like her ultra pricey Boodle and Dunthorne engagement ring. David popped the question with a three carat ring worth $65,000. Practically everyone in England will remember the moment that Bex gave Posh the engagement ring. She came out and literally this ring was so huge it was dripping off her tiny finger. And she got him an engagement ring too. After Bex got down on his knees to propose to her, Posh whipped out a seven and a half carat diamond engagement ring worth $80,000 and proposed right back and said, don't forget about girl power. You may think it's a bit weird that he would be wearing a diamond ring, but not David, he loves diamonds. Bex broke out some major merchandise at the 2003 MTV Movie Awards in LA. And the winner is, and the winner is, and the winner is... His jeweler. Bex wore not one, but two incredible 120 carat diamond encrusted crosses. That man was literally wearing $100,000 on his chest. But Posh outdid her soccer stud husband with a 10 carat ring worth $150,000. It's all about living in a world of and and both, not either or. David and Victoria have this thing for matching outfits. A couple of years ago, they turned up in matching leather outfits, made every front page in Britain. She wants it to look flashy. She wants to look expensive. She wants to look designer. I do like posh shops, so that's how I got my name. Once voted Britain's top shopper, Posh writes big checks for haute couture. She should be Gucci Spice, Versace Spice. Uh-uh, she should be Dolce Spice because Posh loves Dolce & Gabbana. In 2002, Posh wore this $1,200 D&G shirt to London eatery The Ivy. At the 2003 Costume Institute Gala in New York, she wore this D&G dress worth 16 grand. And then there's the Dolce gown she sported at the 2003 MTV Movie Awards, worth a whopping $22,000. And her husband likes to play dress up too. Not only does David Beckham love Dolce & Gabbana, they love him right back. Dolce & Gabbana dressed their models up to look just like him. A few seasons ago at the Milan show, they made up every male model look just like him with different David Beckham hairstyles parading up and down the catwalk. And they bent over backwards to please him. There's a story he pulled up on his Bentley to Dolce & Gabbana. He just sent his list in. The guys came out, loaded it up with thousands of dollars worth of high fashion menswear, drove off. Now that's what I call some serious junk in the trunk. In 2001, Sony PlayStation paid David Beckham two and a half million dollars to turn him into a video game. 
Using space age technology, the game maker probed and scanned every inch of Beckham's body. The result, a perfect clone of the world's perfect player. When Sony PlayStation paid David Beckham to be its new star player, just shows he has worldwide appeal. Posh and Becks have become really a brand unto themselves. They are this power, celebrity, music, fashion, sports couple all in one. Yes, from video games to soccer games to pop music, Victoria and David are just raking it in. What David Beckham's done for soccer is give it a global phase. As you know, it's not big here in the States, but everywhere else, soccer is huge. He is the best known athlete in the world. Skills. David Beckham is Michael Jordan times 10. Skills. 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 In 2002, David Beckham made $8 million when he played for Manchester United. If you imagine how many people know the Yankees and then times that by 100, that's how famous Manchester United as a team is. Until 2003, when Real Madrid spent mucho dinero buying Bex. Real Madrid paid $40 million to get David Beckham out of his contract with Manchester United. When David Beckham left Manchester United, it was the same thing as if Derek Jeter had left the New York Yankees and joined the Boston Red Sox. And then they're paying him $10 million a year salary on top of that. But a $10 million salary is just a drop in the ocean for the Beckham household. Everyone thinks that David is the one who's the real moneymaker, but Victoria certainly pays her way. It didn't suck being a Spice Girl in the 1990s. From multi-million dollar tours to movies to merchandise. We was on packets of crisps, on lollipops, on Pepsi cans. The Spice Girls were everywhere. The Spice Girls were a billion dollar industry. And it's still adding up, even today. From the Spice Girls, she still makes two million dollars in royalties a year. And that's just yesterday's million dollar news. Now, Posh is working on a new album. It's great being in a group, but I was one of four and I was Posh Vice. This is about me, you know, this is about my music. She's recently hooked up with Damon Dash, huge hip-hop mogul. He is hoping to bring her back into the music field as a big solo star. Her record deal has been reported to be worth over two million dollars. But she's not just selling her voice, she's also selling her image. Posh is the new face of Rockaware, Damon Dash's hip-hop clothing line. Her face is literally in Times Square. She's breaking away from that Spice Girl image. And image is everything. Yeah. David Beckham is the highest paid soccer player in the world because of the way he's been marketed. His face is famous all over the world and branding him is serious business. And Bex endorses everything. Chocolate, phones, sunglasses, more than a dozen companies pay him millions. So what are we playing for? Pepsi. <laughs> sure. Sure, $3.4 million from Pepsi must have sounded good to Bex. But not nearly as good as his deal with Adidas worth a whopping $150 million. This is bigger than Tiger Woods and Nike. This is bigger than Michael Jordan. I am your joy, your pain. This is one of the most lucrative sponsorship deals of all time. On me. And you own the game. But there is one game that the Beckhams don't own. What they really want, what they really, really want, is success in America. No one here really knows who they are. They came to the United States in 2003 on this publicity tour. They flew 75,000 miles in four months to promote themselves and expand their brand. That's their big plan. Conquer America, double our income, like that. And if they do double their income, look out. Victoria and David are already worth an estimated $113 million. Which is pocket change compared to what they're predicted to make. They make so much money that they're easily going to be billionaires in the next 10 years. A billion dollars. Not a bad 10-year goal. Goodbye. <laughs>